Hey there, are you struggling to grow your social media and feel like you're posting but you're just hearing crickets all the time? I hear the same, I might have to rethink my strategy here. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm gonna share with you five strategies that you can use to help grow your social media. If you haven't yet, uh, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of when I post a new video on social media for realtors. I myself have been using social media for years and because of it, it's helped me to consistently rank in the top 1% throughout all of Canada in my franchise. I'm going to show you some strategies so you can do the same. Alright, so tip number one. You need to actually be active on your social media. A lot of realtors will be like, hey, you know what? I need to be on social media. So they sign up, they get on social media, and then, again, the cricket sound. Do nothing with it and just let it sit there. They'll scroll through social media, trying to get ideas. What could I do? Oh, this one looks good and it's kind of analysis by paralysis. They keep going and going through it and nothing happens. Having a social media account and doing nothing with it actually hurts you more than it does help you. So if I ever get to the point where I have a platform and I'm not using it anymore, I will delete that account. Reason being is if somebody comes and searches for you and they're like, hey, they have a Facebook page and they pull it up and they go to scroll through it and they see you haven't posted anything since nine months ago, it gives the illusion to them like you're not really active anymore. So it's almost in a way like, are they even busy? Are they doing anything? Did they quit real estate? Are they not a realtor anymore? Now they'll go search out another realtor and see, oh yeah, posted uh, five hours ago. Looks like they're posting something every single day. They're quite active. Guess what? who they're probably, there's a good chance they may go take a look at further is going to be that other realtor. So just by having a social media account does not mean you're going to get business. You need to actually be using it. So don't just have it and then let it sit stagnant. If you have any of those accounts, I'd either recommend learning them and getting back on them or just deleting that account entirely. Number two is you need to provide value. What do I mean by this? Give good content value to the, your audience. So we go back to where there was some realtors that aren't posting and some that are posting. Now, if you look at the realtor that is posting and if all they're doing is just posting about their new listing, open houses, here's a price drop. It's very, gets very boring and there's just a lot of that out there. Now, if somebody goes, so that's great, they're using social media, that, that's good on them, at least they're using it. But if you wanna take it a step further and really have yours stand out, you go to the next account and imagine they're giving good advice about the community. Hey, there's a video they did on a review of the restaurant down the street and uh, we're talking about their amazing burgers. Or there's another video before that and they're at the park with their kids and they're doing a review on it of what the great things about the park are. Maybe they sprinkled in some content about uh, what you need to expect when you're buying a foreclosed home. Then there's another post talking about a community event that's upcoming and what to expect from it. Or maybe it was an interview about an event that already happened and give details of what happened there. So as you can see, there's drastically two different approaches from both the accounts. The one is just sharing what's happening and it's kind of to me is just the salesy approach. The other one's giving good quality information. It's helping the community. It's giving the viewer good information about what's happening. And they're like, oh, I didn't know about that event. Or I, you know what? I've been meaning to try that restaurant. That looks really good. I'm going to go there and I'm going to try it. Which account do you think as a user is going to remember more? The one that's just posting listings all the time or the one that's giving good information? And yes, they will see the account that you are a realtor. So yes, you're not talking about real estate, but they're seeing you, you're being top of mind. And then they're like, well, who is this person that's providing this? And they go to check out your profile. Oh, they're a realtor in my community. Now, when they go to buy or sell, there's a good chance you're gonna be thought about when, uh, when they're thinking of a realtor. 
Number three is engage. You need to engage on social media. Social media is called social media for a reason. So it's not just to sit there, do nothing. You need to feed into the algorithm. You need to let it know you're there. You let, need to let it know you're having conversations. I've done tests on this and, and whenever I run a week, say without engagement, I notice my, without talking to other people, my engagement goes down, my stories views go down, everything goes down. When I reach out to new people and I have conversations and I'm in the direct messages and I'm talking back and forth, I'm looking at other stories on social media. I'm giving, leaving them genuine comments and having real conversations with them. I'm looking at posts in the feed. I'm liking them. I'm commenting on them. When I do that for half an hour to an hour every single day, all of a sudden, guess what happens? I notice my engagement goes up. My views and likes on posts that I've done went up. My stories, the views on there go up. That's the way all these social platforms work. They reward you for keeping people on their platform. And as well, if, if you're having more conversations with people, they see that you like each other and they're like, well, they must be good friends. Let's show them each other more of their content. That's how it works. So it's the exact same if you're out in public, you have a better chance of getting a new customer with the more people you talk to. You have a better chance of being discovered on social media with the more people you have conversations with as well. And Instagram's actually gonna help you and push your content to more people and maybe show it to people that don't even know about you, which in return increases your following. What do you hope to get out of your social media? Comment below and let me know. Number four. Talking on the engagement is you need to respond to all your comments and your direct messages. I see a lot of realtors where they will make a post, there'll be some comments, and it's not just realtors, there is other people as well, there'll be comments on there, they don't reply. Nothing. You need to reply. If somebody's commenting, they took the time to comment, and you're not replying, if for them, for one, but for others that look at your account, they're seeing that as you don't care. You're just kind of posting and you don't really care. Now, look at another account and if you go through its comments and you see, holy, every time there was a comment, this person's replying and they're maybe replying with a question which then gets that person to comment again. So if there's a question, reply with a question, that helps you to get more engagement in there. So as you can see, again, if you're commenting back, it's helping your post so that you can get more engagement on it. If you're not commenting, you're kind of killing the algorithm yourself and it was delivered right to you and you're doing nothing with it. The other thing is the direct messages. Same thing again, if somebody direct messages you, reply back to them because it really shows them you don't care if you don't reply back. If you do reply, it shows them you do care. And again, it's feeding the algorithm. Instagram sees that you're having a conversation. The more, the longer the conversation, the better chance of it showing your content to that person now, which again, helps to increase everything. It helps to increase your engagement and your account is going to grow. So as you can see from this video, kind of what you put in is what you get out of it. And the more you put into it, the more you're gonna grow. And number five, this is a big one and it is be yourself and showcase who you are as a person. A lot of social media is scripted, a lot of it can be fake. Don't compare yourself for one to others because you may look at another account and be like, oh wow, how did they get there? It took time or you never know. There is some accounts where they buy followers. Do not do that because that hurts your uh, statistics as well and hurts you in the algorithm. But if you can be more yourself, show who you are as a person, just like me right now when I'm talking on camera, this is how I am. This is how I talk to people. If I kind of came up with a script and was like, this is how I talk to people. And I tried to put on this big show and I just wasn't myself. People can see through that. That's why you need to be yourself, be a real person and like-mindedness tracks on social media. So if there's somebody that kind of likes the way you speak and, and they just kind of that feel like they have that connection to you, 
that's going to help a lot because they're going to want to follow you and they're going to continue to follow you and it's going to bring in more like-minded followers that want to follow you as well. And then also you need to have a face to your page. So don't just be posting pictures of houses all the time and memes and quotes. Again, if I can compare, you look at one realtor's account and all you're seeing is memes, and then you go to the next one and there's a page where you can see the actual realtor in it and you see what they're doing. And instead of just a picture of a house, maybe it's them taking a selfie in front of the house that they're listing. You're getting a better visual. You're starting to see who the person is and what they're about. When there's just generic content, you're not building your brand. It's not showing a face behind the content and who they really are. And people buy from people. They want that connection. They want to know who you are as a person. Do you like pets? Do you have kids? Are you into sports? Do you like skydiving? Uh, how you present the house, the way you talk, you need to show that. And for some people, you won't work and that's fine. That's what's great about social media you likely weren't gonna have that great personal connection when you are dealing on a house. So it's best there's probably another realtor for them, whereas this is actually gonna bring in really solid leads and customers for you because it's like you've got that friendship or that relationship built already and they completely trust you, they know who you are from seeing you online and it's just all around, it's a win-win. So take away from all this, again, be yourself. There you have it. Now you know you need to be posting, but you're asking yourself, what the heck am I even going to post? I gave you some ideas in this video, but if you're wanting more, you're going to want to click on the link in the description below. In there, I have a free guide of a ton of ideas of what you can post as a realtor on social media and posts like this are going to get you more traction and gonna help you in the algorithm. So make sure you go download it and start to grow your following. And when you're done here, don't forget to check out my prior videos that I've done on social media. And please, if this was beneficial, give me a like, hit that subscribe button and share with your fellow realtor friends.